what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Beijing Canadian here with a solo Hunger Games on the Nexus. We're playing on the map Tropica and there are 10 seconds until the game begins. Oh god, hold on to your underwear. Grab something tight because we're about to go in big, hot and spicy. Please spawn chest. Wait, why am I going to spawn chest? This is Tropica. You shouldn't do that. Ooh, chicken and a lingerie boot. Maybe go to the spawn chest wasn't such a bad idea. Please, can I get away? Please give me some more. Oh my booby plates. The boob plates are too strong today. <laughs> Alright, uh, this guy's probably going to have a weapon. And I'm going to stay far away from you. Give me those pants. Oi, oi, oi. Food. TNT, if he's right behind me, he's going to blow! And he's not. Oh, wait, was he? Okay, he wasn't. Helmet. Oh, my goodness. Arrows. We've got pants. We've got so much stuff already. We are super decked. There are already 19 troops remaining. That means five people have died. Those of you who are new to Hunger Games, which I don't know how you possibly... Ooh, a stone sword. Look at that. I don't know how you could possibly be new to this series. Um, but the way it works is very simple. There are 24 tributes just like in the book or the movies. And uh, the aim of the game is to be the last one standing. Kill everybody else and don't die. Pretty, pretty basic. Oh, I'm going to grab that stone sword. I don't want to have that. And that's pretty basic. So that's really it. It's just a murder spree. And I love murdering people. I have a real problem when it comes to that. Because I kill them all. Every last one of them! Please, sir, would you like some more chops? Would you like another chop? Well, how's that? I hope that felt good, because it felt real good for me. Hope that was as good for you as it was for me, because that was phenomenal. <laughs> Great chops. And I need a compass. I'd love a compass right now so that I can murder more people. And not get snuck up on, too. That's always good. Oi! And here's something that you should take note of if you're new to the Hunger Games on my channel, is that when you play on the Nexus, there is a little bit of a twist. If you kill someone, they have the option, if they have the passes to do so, to mutate. And what that means is they can come back in the game and have a second chance at being the victor and the final tribute remaining by mutating as a variety of different, uh, I guess, characters or, or mob choices. And this player chose the classic pig zombie, which means he's super fast, uh, has a gold sword and leather armor, and he's going to look exactly like a pig zombie, but he has no health regen. That's his downside. So they all have their ups and their downs, their pluses and minuses, and uh, I'm not really too worried. I have great armor and a stone sword. So the chances of me dying to this is, is pretty unlikely, unless he catches me after a fight, or if he catches me off guard, or knocks me off of a cliff. But I uh, really and truly should be fine here, in theory, if I can spot him coming from uh, a couple blocks away and get the jump on him. I have a player tracker now. Oi, see this is this is where it could get ugly. If I were to fight this guy and be low on... Oof, backing up. And were to be low on health and then get attacked by the pig, that's when you're asking for trouble. <laughs> and I don't want to die. I just want to win the Hunger Games, please and thank you. And this guy with the full chicken nugget butter armor who tried to sneak up on me, he actually got real close. I turned around at the last second. And I don't have a compass on me. That'd be real handy, but I don't. If the pig zombie comes after me, which he now is, there he is, he tried to be sneaky, he failed, and he has no health regen, so he is what I like to call RIP, rest in pepperonis, it's been a pleasure, I get my compass out and be back on the hunt. And he is 50 blocks away, the derpy sloth, ooh, hello, hello, Nexus Phoenix, or something, whatever your name is, you're what I like to call dead. Oh wow, this guy's lagging and hermit crabbing, he's all over the place. Get back here, you scoundrel. I'm not done yet. I will kill him. I don't know why I dropped a TNT there, just in case there's someone behind me. I don't think there is, though. Oh, here's the gold man from before. Let's say hello to both of them. I'm having a little bit of turbulence, and, you know, to be fair, it's because I'm rendering two videos as we play. <laughs> so if I can win this while I have this sort of choppy frame rate and maybe a little bit of lag, I don't know, um, due to those renders, I'll be very pleased with myself. Oh, he's hitting me, he's hitting me with something. What's he hitting me with? I don't know. I've been combat tagged by the derpy sloth, though. Ooh, some fall damage. Oh, I need to stop and eat. Let's just do that. Drop that. Oi. Oi. Oh, rip. You're so rip. Give me your sword. I have a bow. Very good. Armor. Great. I want that iron sword of yours, though. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. And I already have the iron boob, so I don't need that. Make myself a flint and steel with that extra piece of iron. And let's see, what other junk do I have? Where did that person go? He's 95 blocks away. The derpy sloth took off. He wanted nothing to do with me. I'm going to deposit all of my junk here that I don't need. Keep an eye on that compass. 90 blocks away. We are still good to go. And we'll hold on to some of this extra grub for the moment. 
Apples, nice. Actually, I really don't need this stuff. It's just garbage at this point. Extra compass, don't need you. Cake, honestly, don't want you. Uh, arrows, I have eight of those. That's good. Flint and steel. Compass 140 away. We're good. We are in business. So if we find some gold ingots, that's not too bad. If we get eight of them, we can make ourselves a gold apple and be extra strong, extra powerful. But we're going to go after Captain Merp for now. We're on a lovely kill three... Kill three spree? No, a three killing spree. A lovely kill three spree. No, that makes no sense. All right. Oh, here he is. Wow. Was... Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Bye, bud. It's been a pleasure knowing you. You're dead. Ooh, baby. Thanks for the loot. We'll take those arrows. Take those boots. And closest player is 105 blocks away. I got lots of time here to discard junk and figure out what I want from what I don't want. And I don't want that right now. And I don't need these two golden ingots already. Very nice. Oh, I don't want to. Did I just throw an arrow in there? Even if I did, I'm not going back for it. <laughs> That's for sure. I uh, don't need cookies. Uh, I'll keep. Uh, I don't need that. Honestly, don't need those. Keep my projectiles nice and organized. Golden apple with the gold. And let's go ahead and eat ourselves a big potato. A big potato. Potato. And we're going to go after the rare Pikachu HD. I wonder if he's high definition. Maybe he's standard. Maybe he's a standard plebeian. We'll find out, I guess, won't we? 30 blocks away, we're getting closer to the enemy. I can practically smell him. Pew! Ooh, that was a close shot. It's kind of tough to shoot arrows on this kind of frame rate. He's got weaker armor and a weaker sword, so if I get in a sword fight here, I should be able to easily, easily conquer it. He's not much weaker, though, to be fair, so I shouldn't get too cocky or two ahead of myself with this, but that's okay. The double render Hunger Games, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, don't mess those jumps up. Pikachu, look at you. Look at you and look at me. I'm glad that they chose us. Drizzy Drake, I don't know what I'm saying. Please hit him, please hit I don't want him getting away. Oi, oh, the shot of the century! Although the other arrows were just awful, so I it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of would have been much more embarrassing if I didn't connect any of those shots. So I'm gonna grab these arrows back. Thank you, and the gold. Thank you, and I'm gonna leave the rest. Don't want it. Don't want it. Six arrows only. That's fine. He's dead. He's out of the Hunger Games, and there are six tributes remaining. I have killed five players. Not too bad. I actually will take these feathers. Usually I don't bother crafting arrows, but considering how much flint I have, how many sticks I have, and to just stumble across those feathers, it'd be a real crime if I didn't, because that's, uh, what is that? That's 16 arrows I can get, which is not too bad. So let's find ourselves a workbench, make these 16 arrows, and uh, feel too strong, be too powerful for the whole Hunger Games to handle. Uh, closest player is 50 blocks away, the Delman. All right, Delman, see you. Oh, he's got good gear. I kind of want to light him on fire. Make him take the uh, four hearts of fire damage. Yeah, sounds about right. I got this bow too. I only have six arrows, but that's enough. Oh, they're, oh, he's in a fight. Oh, he just killed someone. Loot up. Yeah, you stop and loot. You stop and loot. Don't check behind you, Del man. Don't check your compasses. Don't look. He knows. Oh, he knew. How did he know? I guess he just F5 drove it. Some people are in a very good habit. That is, that is a good tip. I mean, if you kill someone the second you do it, you should not stop to loot. You should check your surroundings, whether that's with a 360 or with a, a quick. Oh, this is a close fight. No, it's not. You're rip. You are rip. Only did three hearts of damage to me. Thank you for no armor increase. Oh, he does have iron pants. Good. Take those. Full iron. And I just did exactly what I said you should. You should check either a compass so you know the distance between yourself and the other players, or do a quick 360, or hit up, hit yourself with an F5. And I think he hit with an F5 because he knew I was right behind him. And he definitely wasn't holding a compass. And yeah, so he, he hit me hard with an F5. Seven golden ingots, one more and I, I'm gonna go back to the dead body loot. Which was, hopefully, or do I just check the chest? Oh, he's mutating. Oh no, that's a guy I killed ages ago. The Nexus Phoenix waited so long to use that pass. Not a very smart move, I have full health. And he's a pig, yeah, you're, you're not gonna be able to kill me, bud. Like, the nicest way possible, you're stupid. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound so nice, but realistically that was not a very good use of your mutation pass. If you come near me, I could let I could literally let you tank, or I could tank, oh, you end the death matches here. Why did you do that? I, I think his pass gets refunded maybe, so maybe he just wanted to, yeah, I don't know, see his name in, in lights, in the shining, shimmering lights, I don't know. I really just don't know sometimes. 
What I do know though is I want lots of flint and steel. Did I? Okay. <laughs> what was this guy doing? Well, he's dead now. All right, two left. <laughs> he he got the jump on me. Then he did this weird 360 thing and kind of ripped himself. Oh, what am I getting hit by? Oh, arrows up top. Oh, I was like, I don't want to die. Please, sirs. Not like this. All right, what's this guy got? Oh, what the heck? How did I catch myself on fire? It's so weird. Whatever. I'm just going to stay away. That is actually so weird. How did I light myself? I have two and a half hearts. This sucks. How did I light myself on fire? I was so far. Could you not? Okay, sorry, I'm getting real quiet. It's getting intense. How did that miss? Oh, he fell. Moving in. Moving in. Oh, I don't want him to have that, though. Oh, he's back up there. Oh, come on. And the crafting bench is up there. I can't even craft more hours. I have seven. I have 12 of these, though. Try it again, huh? Huh, punk? Try me. Are they fighting up here? What's going on? Pew, 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 pew. I just missed all my eggs. I still have two more, though. Oh, that was scary. That was very scary. Eat my nugs. Pew, pew. I don't know. I keep hitting spectators with arrows. Nailed him. Got him. I'm on nobody's team. You fool! I'm on my own team! This is my Hunger Games! And I win! Champion of the world. Did I get... Oh, I almost had both kills. That arrow shot in the fall... Wait, did he die to fall damage? Did it count as both kills for me? I don't know. I mean, I couldn't see it in time. I wanted to scroll up. Was doomed to fall by Thorntail. So he got the last hit on him. Dang it! I tried to get that one with the bow shots. But that's okay. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Hunger Games. I managed to pull up the win even with my Sony Vegas rendering two videos at once. Most of you probably don't know what that means, but it means my computer's poop right now. Um, but anyways, lots of fun. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe for more videos. And of course, if you're not, please do slap the like button if you're a longtime fan, because it means a lot to have your support. Let's go for over 9,000 likes. That would be swell and dandy. And other than that, I will see you all in the battlefield over on hub.thenexusmc.com. That is the server IP if you'd like to join me. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.